I think the intimidation of science is something that happens at a young age. Not at a very young age, because as any parent knows, anyone who's spent time with kids knows, we start out as like little scientists, right? We want to know, what was that sound? We want to know, how does that work? We want to understand, how did that color come to be? We're constantly looking out into our environment and trying to figure it out. And then somehow, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, almost all of us, or the majority of us, or a great many of us, lose that scientific passion. People should care about science, I'd say, for a number of reasons. One is when we look at the problems that we face as a society going forward in the next century, and the opportunities that we have. So the problems associated with, with climate change, the opportunity with stem cells, the wonderful opportunities with nanotechnology, they're all of these ultimately have science at their core. And if you want to have a general public that can make informed decisions about what we should do in all of these arenas, how to fix the problems and maximize the opportunities, people need to engage with the idea. When I'm doing my own work, I never feel like I truly understand it if I'm just doing the math. I mean, the work that I do is purely mathematical. I feel like I need to overlay it with a visual, a picture, some sort of mental imagery that gives a shorthand, an intuitive connection between me and the math. And when I bring science to general audiences, I often focus upon those mental images, wrap them in an interesting story or an analogy, drop the math, and use that as a means of communicating some fairly abstract idea. And there was a man down in Texas who told me, my friends really don't like what you've done to me because I don't go to the bar any longer and throw darts and drink with them. I'd rather be home and read books that discuss science in a level that, as an untrained layman, I can understand. These are the kinds of stories that inspire me.